Oh, we're back with trade. No, it's not. His game check. She doesn't like doing that. Also off screen, Mikasa reached level 14. And, and, and Siwaka reached level 17. Also found a colorful baby I wanted, but unfortunately I killed it. Which is super sad. Come on, Jacinda. Uh, let's go get see if we can't get the fucking get move the camera to the spare spot. Cause he saw that glare in the last couple episodes. That was not professional. Come on, Descender. You can do it. God dang it. Hold off. Well, okay, you kind of need to heal. So back to Santa, when we go. Get some more toilet paper. Fucking to do. Actually, since it's a dark, dark poison, will will must that be super effective? No, Chuck Testa. I'm just gonna put Frederick out front. And that's gay! Not sure if I wanna get this. Yeah, I'll catch this trade fire. I'm also running on Pokeballs. Fresh your goals up! Kicks. I 
Follow me. <laughs> well, not very, but it did a decent amount of damage. There we go! She wants to trade. And Todd Dill's up. I think he's gonna evolve. Whirlwind! Um, do I want him? Um, nah. Nah, hold off. Did you evolve here? No? Yes, let's trade Pokemon. Sure. What you gonna offer up first? Oh, she has a launcher. Into an air. Oh god, yeah, that was a guy war. So what you guess this? Pinkie Pie time! The fairy for fairy. This is an exclusive. It should evolve now. <laughs> it's me, my little surpass. Oh, there's Bash. Play well into a Bash? Yes, please. Yes, Bash here is a Tyrant. What is game's fossil Pokemon? The other one you'll see. So I already know which one I want. It's fossil Pokemon I want. Ruff, ruff, run! This is our bash. Take care, bash. Ruff, ruff, run! Does she have anything else with us? Uh, send uh, that Quantra is kind of level 25 and it's kind of not named, nicknamed. Guess what? Take it. We're not going to use it for a while because it's kind of a bit, unba bit unbalanced. It's our team. Yes, Quantra is another X, X, Pokemon X exclusive. <laughs> D 
Yeah, we're actually not going to use it for a little bit because that that would be a storm smoke on team on team. And do you have anything else for us? Nope. Nah. I think bug fairies with the bug. No? Yeah. I gotta ask fast backwards. Oh, well, I caught one of his car off camera. Need red four. I suppose it's also go Pokedex entries. Tristan. Central call is six number one. Tristan is buying a Pokemon. Pure grass type. Height one foot four inches. Weight one nine twenty pounds. Such a thick shell of lead covers his head back that even a direct hit from a truck. Wouldn't phase it. That's ridiculous. Yes. Central call is deck number four. Fennekin, the fox Pokemon. Pure fire type. Height, one foot four inches. Weight, 24 seven pounds. As it walks, it munches on a twig and pays a snack. It intimidates some opponents by puffing all the air out of its ears. And we actually got this one just the last episode, I believe. Central call is next number 8, Frog of the Year, the ball of Frog Pokemon. Pure water type, height 2 feet, eight, weight 24 pounds. Its swiftness is unparalleled. It can scale a tower of more than 2,000 feet in a minute's time. But yes, it's Frederick. Central call is next number 21, Spewba, the scattered spoke one. Pure bug type, height 1 foot, weight heat, weight 8.5 pounds. The beaks of bird Pokemon can't begin to scratch the style or pie to defend itself with the tower. And central call is next number 22, and, that, and national deck is number 666. Villion, Villion, the scale Pokemon. Bug flying type, height 3 feet 11 inches, weight 7.5 pounds. The parents on this book on this wing spend quite a lot of time to its habitat. It's good as colorful scales. Oh, here it is. Central Call is next number, number 141, Swirlix, the cotton candy Pokemon, pure ferrotype, height 1 foot 4 inches, weight 7.7 7 pounds. Because these these number sweets, it's thought as a sticky sweet cotton candy. And, and, and Central Call is next number 142, Slurpuff, the merengue Pokemon, pure, still pure ferrotype, height 2 feet 7 inches, weight 11 pounds. Its sense of smell is 100 million times better than humans, so even the faintest scent sense tells about everything in the area. It's like you can see with its nose. It's crazy. Next time I'm Pokemon, what do you know? Hopefully we'll find a Ross. See you guys then.